All right, well, this weekend's marathon holiday shopping bonanza rolls on this morning. It's been mayhem since Thanksgiving night. Of course, tomorrow it's back to mm -hmm. work, Monday and Cyber Monday as well. And sandwiched in the middle, a relatively new, special, and somewhat sentimental shopping day, Small Business Saturday, aimed at giving the little guy a lift. ABC's John Schriffen has, some, has been on the bargain beat for days now, and he has the latest on that. Hey, John, good morning. Dan Bianca, good morning. If you've never heard of Small Business Saturday, it's only been around for three years, but it's starting to catch on. American Express says last year more than 100 million people participated in the shopping holiday. Now, it's aimed at being the opposite to those wild scenes we saw the day before on Black Friday. So what was all this pushing and shoving about? New numbers out this morning show Thanksgiving Day shopping took a big bite out of Black Friday. Consumers spent just over $11 billion Friday, but that's down almost 2% from last year. And online sales rose more than 17% on Thanksgiving, more than 20% on Friday. And on Small Business Saturday, a day to support your local mom and pop store, shoppers found a way to avoid the crush at the mall. We have a three-year-old, and this is one-stop shopping. We got everything we needed all at once. Uh, they're wrapping our gifts right now. And, uh, and you miss the crowds. No, cr I mean, no crowds. <laughs> West Side Kids, a local toy store in Manhattan, has been in business for more than 30 years, giving children a safe place to play and learn. Well, this is like where you can um, build lots of electronic things. In Memphis, Anna Avant says her customers prefer this intimate setting to the door buster deals at the bigger stores. They know that whatever the small businesses make goes back to the community faster than, say, a big box store. Even President Obama took his daughters to a local bookstore in Northern Virginia. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, folks. Or not, there's a darker side to this Black Friday weekend. Thanksgiving time thieves. In Dallas, a UPS driver drops off a package. 11 minutes later, I saw a car pull up. It, it kind of passed the house. A lady got out, walked right to it, picked it up, got in the car and left. And he's not just mad at the thief. He's angry at the UPS driver for not knocking on his door because they were home. But as more people install home surveillance systems, Grinches who steal anything they can should smile because they may be caught on camera. So what was inside that package? The family says it was a $1,500 computer. And what made them even more suspicious? According to the UPS tracking receipt, the driver claims he met with a male customer that day, but obviously they say no one knocked on their door. Now, thanks to the surveillance video, UPS says it will now investigate.